Welcome to Azure DevOps video. In this video, we will create an application and deploy into the Docker container. But we will use the DevOps, Azure DevOps. There we will create the CI/CD pipelines. The purpose of creating the CI/CD pipelines in your project, if you are using the repository, then if someone from your team make the changes in the code and push into the repository, the code should be built automatic without an, any manual action. After the build process, the code should be deployed into the environment wherever we want. Let's first create simple application. I will use the sp.net core and I will push into the Linux Docker container. So let's create an and simple application. I can create one application and I will give the name. I will take the simple core core web MVC application and I will give the name. This is the name. And in the next, I will choose enable Docker. Configure OS for HTTP is currently, I don't want this option. And Docker operating system, Linux. So let's create. Let me run it first time, how it looks like. So I did not make any change because I, I just want to simply show you how to deploy into the container. So this is the simple application and welcome. So this is the home page. I can navigate. So I'm not changing anything into the application. So let's close it. And you can see one Docker file is has been created. Now let me push the prerequisites of for this uh, docker you should have the docker so you can download the docker in your system so now what have we have to do we have to add this project into the github so right click select the create git repository so you can select github it will ask to authorize github and it will be validated and you can see as I, I had already created the github account so it just validated the account here you can see i have selected the account so i can create the repository with the name singleton infosoft create and push so now it has been done this is the repository that we have created and all the then the project has been moved to the repository. Let's create the Azure container registry. So I have the command to create Azure container registry. You can utilize this command. I can log in to the uh, Azure first Azure login. So you have logged into the Microsoft Azure. This is the message. So here one more way you can you can go into the Microsoft Azure and you can select the Azure Cloud Shell. Here it will ask you to create the storage account. So you can click create a storage. Cloud Shell need a storage account. So it's creating the storage. Now here we can see so let me push the image let me push the command here as it create name we need to give the ser name azure container registry that is actually the private docker that contains the docker images and artifacts so i, I need to put the group name and standard that is the sq is a standard and admin should be enabled 
so let's create it running parallelly i can see the yes it has been created so here you can see container registry here you can see uh, if you refresh the screen one container registry has been created under the group name R rg1 now let's create the project here in the azure devops so inside the organization coaching in quota i will create the project click on new project give the name and make it private and click on create the project has been created so create on repository here we have different options but as we have created the github repository so import a repository click on import select the git and singleton info soft copy the url and paste it here it will require it will say require authentication so i have the username and password or pat for pat you can go inside the prof inside the settings inside the setting you can see developer settings and here you can see pat means personal access tokens so create it and create a personal access token generate new token give the name i can give any name here and it it will ask the expire expiration so you can select the expiration uh, let me select 7 days and you can select the scopes as we need deployment something so select this one and click on generate token so important thing here it will generate a token so you have to copy it only one time you can see here the note from the github make sure to copy your personal access token now you won't be able to see it again so copy it and paste it click on import now you can see the replica of the github inside the dev inside the azure devops imported successfully so if you click on the files you can see all the files here so don't worry if you have forgot this one you can generate it again now we are good we have connected azure devops now what we will do we will create the pipelines so let's create the pipeline so i will create the continuous integration pipeline create pipeline so where is your code so currently i am not using the yaml so let's use the classif editor in the classic editor select the github your code is there into the github connection name authorized using github using auth so click on that you can see the you can see the repository select the repository here select and currently we have only one branch so let it be master continue so that is done now what we have to do select the docker container click on apply here it will ask the specification so you can select the ubuntu 20.04 if you want you can rename the pipeline i can put build singleton infosoft docker container ci that's it
into the git source this is the git source select the build an image azure container registry so here let's do one thing let's go into the project I, let me open the another tab here what i can do in the project setting you can see service service connection one was already created so let me create one service connection just for understanding so in the new service connection select the azure service manager click next select service principal next Subscri subscription put the username password okay now you can select the group you can put you can add the service connection name you can put anything whatever you want grant access permission to all the pipelines i can click save so now the service connection has been created this will connect your azure devops project to the azure cloud so here you need to use this service connection name so then select the service connection then you can see the azure container registry and action should be build an image we are just building the image so that is fine and docker files should be there like uh, if you go into the repository you can see docker file yes that file should be there uh, and keep it same image name dot name and build so that's it uh, here do one thing uh, image name so it say this image name would, would be created so i want to make this image name same we have in container registries here if you see uh, take this login server because uh, after the build pipeline will create the image with this name so what can i do i can put this image here in this way here copy it i can put an image here with this way this is actually login server you can put this in, inside the variable so what you can do just uh, create a variable give the name container registry login server this is done do one thing take this name put variable name add variable name equals to the login server name that i can take from here okay now go to task again so you can see the image name here so this task is okay now build an image so this will create the image with this name and this will take the this this will take the co source code from here you can see the source code and after building the image we need to push this image into the your con container registry so go to the so select the push an image here select the service service connection that we have created okay that, that is fine that is the name of the service connection select the container registry and this registry here we will push the image actually so action should be push an image you can see different actions are there don't make any change here let it be same push an image and image name again so you can copy this image from here and put into put it here 
push an image and the remaining option let it be same now click on save and queue give the name build image i can put anything i can put here i am just running the pipeline i am running this pipeline save and run then you can see the pipeline has been started here you can see the progress here it will it will show the steps in the sequence you can see the process so check out check out from repository is completed you can see this is in the green so now build has been started it's creating the image from the source code so it will create the image with the name container registry slash singleton infosoft build succeed here you can see zero errors zero error you can see now that is that has been created so now the now we are pushing the image into the container registry here you can see post check post job check out now that is done so here uh, we can see all these steps are completed so let me check the registry go to the registry inside the registry see the repository in the repository yes i can see the image here so here the actual version you can see here 67 that task has been completed now the important thing is here we need to uh, we want this pipeline should be triggered automatic whenever we change something in the repository that is our requirement so let's do one practical let's uh, change something into the source code go to the source code and in the home page let's make some change welcome docker container okay this has been changed let me push into the repository right click but before doing this let let's make some change in the pipeline go to pipeline edit and here in the trigger option you can see enable continuous integration select it and save it that's it okay so now see let me commit the change in the repository right click git commit i can say change in the index page commit all i can push so let's see here this has been started let's see so uh, if you see inside the change you, you can see the title change in the index page so automatic it's created and if you go inside the content registry so let's refresh so you can see the new version so that is the beauty of the continuous integration it's automatic build and create the image but what you have to do with the image where you are going to deploy we will see in the next video so that's it in this video we will see in the next video how we can deploy these docker images inside the docker container i'll see you in the next video soon thanks